Hi, this is Matthew Rathman from Caldwell Banker Elite, and I wanted to spend a minute to, do, um, or a couple minutes, to show you about a feature that I think is underutilized within DocuSign, but could really save you a lot of time and headache. In this case, I'm going to be using a listing amendment for our listing agreement. In other words, this will be a document maybe for price reduction. And um, I think this is a technique that's very good for routing to multiple people in a chain, setting it up once, and not having to touch it again until it's done. Um, and uh, this is really good technique for small documents, buyer agency agreements, listing addendums, those types of things. Not so much for large packages where there's a bunch of pieces that need to be signed and executed and added, but you could. Um, just get with your broker and find out what they're comfortable with. In this case, I'm going to use a listing addendum because it requires the sellers to sign and the broker, the managing broker, to sign, as well as a copy to be added to our um, file Okay, in the office. So what I'm going to do is add that one listing addendum, and I'm going to first set up the two sellers. So in this case, we'll say Matthew and Jennifer uh, Rathman are the sellers. So I'm going to add them to sign. All right, oops, lost my little drop down here. All right, so I'm going to add the sellers to sign, and that's what we normally do. Now, this document, as I said, also requires a broker signature. So we're going to add Kevin Breen as the broker. All right. So Kevin Breen's going to sign as the broker. And then at the end, once everyone's signed, we also have to make sure we get a copy over to our admin so that she can add it to the file. So in this case, we'll add Tiffany Taylor as our admin. Okay, so I'm going to add her as well. Now, when you see that you've added this, you've got this one document here that needs signatures, and I've got to have the sellers, being Matthew and Jennifer, sign, and then the broker needs to sign, and then Tiff. Well, I don't want all of them to get it at the same time. If I were to send right now, it'll come from me, the agent, and then go to all four of these individuals to sign in the right order. Well, I'm going to change this so that Kevin is going to be the second in the chain to sign, and then I'll change this so that Tiffany will be third in the in order. Now, Tiffany's not going to need to sign it. So remember, I'm going to look at it again. I've got the agent will send it to the two sellers who will both sign it. And then once they've signed it, it'll go step two, which will be to the broker. So he'll go get it only once the sellers have signed it. Once the sellers have signed it, and then once the broker has signed it, it will then go on to Tiffany Taylor, who's number three in the chain here, um, to receive a copy. Now, right here under actions, we have it set up that she's going to sign, but we only really want her to receive a copy. So when I change that, I look at my order diagram, which remains the same. The agent's going to sign it. The sellers will get it first. Once both of them have executed it, it'll then get emailed to the broker. And once the broker has executed it, it'll then go transferred to the admin for our company files. Everyone in this chain will get a copy of the completed document once Kevin has signed it or acknowledged it. So no more getting the email, copying it, sending it off, printing it, sending it to the broker, sending it to the admin, and a bunch of hands doing it. All this will be done right now through the system. Additionally, I can go down here to the email message, and when I send it, this will be price adjustment for 123 Main Street. Thank you for your consideration. Please sign the attached agreement. And I can add personal notes to this transaction. Um, and I'm going to add personal notes to the people who are going to receive it. Now, theoretically, if you do this correctly, not no one else will see this other than that one individual who you want to add a special note to in their email. I will caution you, though, to remember that mistakes do happen and that your messages can get routed to everyone. So make sure you're very careful about what you say and how you're going to phrase these things so that there's no misinterpretation in case everyone gets a copy. But again, I could add as many messages as I wanted to to as many people here. And then, so Tiffany, or to the broker, thanks for signing. To the seller, thanks for working with us. And then to the admin, I don't need a copy for my files. Okay, because I'm going to get one anyways. So everyone can get their own personal messages if I wanted to. Now, once I have got this set up, remember, going back to order diagram, the agent will send it to the sellers. The sellers will both sign it, and then the broker, then the admin, and then complete. And when I hit next, you'll notice that when we go to add the signatures in the document, it's going to start off with the sellers and just move down here like you normally would. I'm going to put a seller signature here, 
and then they signed. I'm going to switch to the other seller. I'm going to have signatures here and then the date signed. And then I'm going to switch to the broker. Notice that there's not a, a, not a drop down for the admin because the admin uh, doesn't need to sign. So once I'm done here and I've added the sellers and the broker, I can go ahead and send this off. And what everyone will see, the sellers will see the grayed out area here for them to sign and the broker will see that they've already signed before he gets a copy. So uh, it'll work just like it normally does. So anyways, there's the routing um, technique for DocuSign. I hope that uh, uh, you take advantage of it. It's a great tool. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much. Have a great day.